actually there was a gap of 2000 years between the time when Moses was given Torah and the time when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given Quran it's a very long period 1400 years before Christ it was the year of it was the time of the exodus of the Jews many Israel from Egypt they all came out from Egypt into the Sinai Peninsula now these things are well known to everybody you know because this uh, Israel and the conflict with the Arab countries and every now and then you find the map of that area that region in the newspaper so everybody knows from Egypt the exodus and you know this is a full book of the first five books the book of exodus kitab ul khuruj sifr ul khuruj to exodus from Egypt into Sinai Peninsula there they were for about 40 years more than 40 years because when the commandment came to them to go to war against the Philistines, the, the people, Philistines they were called at that time, and those who were, you know, Mushrikeen, to go to war against them, they refused to go to war, and they were given the punishment that they will remain in Rome here in, in this desert for 40 years. فَإِنَّهَا مُحَرَّمَةٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةٌ يَتِيهُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ Actually, before that time, Hazrat Musa a.s. was called to Kohetur, the mountain, Jabal Tur, and there he was given these, these commandments. But this, you know, gap of 2000 years, why I was mentioning it? Because during these 2000 years, a process of social evolution went. It went on, on and on. Till that time when Moses was given Torah, the human society actually, it didn't, it had not gone to the level of social evolution that the concept of state could be there, no state, actually only society, not government and state and all these things, the detailed laws and punishments and those things, you know, the society was at a very lower level of social evolution. So actually in Quran, because it was revealed 2000 years after Torah, it is actually the complete code of life. Here you have the total guidance regarding the state. What shape Islamic state should take? What shape Islamic economy should take in an Muslim society? So these things actually, because these questions came to the human mind long after the revelation of Torah, the complications of the social order, the political system and the economic system and so on, these things, you know, they came to human mind and human understanding and level of consciousness of, a, of, of humanity much later. So actually this is the topmost guidance that the humanity needed at that time when Hazrat Musa والسلام, was given Torah. This is the final guidance for that time. That is why Quran says about Torah, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ هُدَلْ لِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ Not هُدَلْ لِلنَّاسِ وَآتَيْنَا مُوسَ الْكِتَابَ وَجَعَلْنَاهُ هُدَلْ لِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ And we gave our book to Moses and we declared it to be a guidance for Bani Israel. That's for the whole of humanity. Or it was for a limited time to come. But actually Quran, in Quran, الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَأَكْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ The total guidance. And you know because now we have the concept of a state, a political system, what, what form it should take. And the concept of an economic system. So all these aspects of human life and social order have been discussed in the Quran, but not in Torah. In Torah only these primitive do's and don'ts, they were the final guidance for humanity till that time because humanity collectively had not reached that level of social evolution which it achieved 2000 after Moses, 2000 years after Moses and that was the time of the advent of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and then actually and logically it should have been so. The total and final guidance was given in the Quran. So that difference one should keep in mind.